Hey, it's Darnell with D Grill here. Got myself a pork loin, top loin roast, boneless. It's about 7.8 pounds, and I'm going to be getting it ready for the rotisserie of my Weber Genesis 2 E310 propane gas grill. So, I'm going to start getting it prepared here the night before the cook and take you through the steps as I brine it and uh, then get it on the grill tomorrow. Okay, so I just wanted to show you the ingredients that I'm going to be using for this brine here. Of course, I got my pork loin. I'm going to be using the juice of one fresh lime. I'm going to be using a teaspoon of ginger, ground ginger. I'm going to be using eight teaspoons of minced garlic, or if you have like four garlic cloves, that'll work just as well. A half a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of kosher salt. So I'm going to get those all mixed up good in eight cups of warm water. Once I get them all mixed up good, I'm going to use a brine bag to hold the pork loin in the brine. And so I'll just bring you back after I've got that all prepared together. Okay, so after I made up my brine and poured my brine in, I noticed that it was uh, not really covering the pork loin well, so I made a second batch of brine. And so basically everything that I made, uh, that I said earlier for the brine mix, has been doubled except for the lime. I just threw the two halves of lime that I cut open in the bag there. So double the brine and uh, just throw the limes in there and got it all in that brine bag. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. Let it brine overnight. We'll bring it out tomorrow and cook it up. Okay, so it is the next day, and you can see the pork loin after the dry, the brining and drying it off after it came out the brine. Now I've got some yellow mustard, and I'm going to just put a light coat of yellow mustard all over the pork loin. And I've got my usual Twisted Q Crooked Pig uh, seasoning that I'm going to coat the uh, pork loin with. And so I personally just like these Twisted Q rubs because they don't have the tip, typical flavor, but they taste really good. So i uh, going to get that all prepared, get it on the rotisserie spits, and then I'll bring you back when that's all set up. Okay, so got the... Uh, mustard and the rub all over that uh, pork loin got it in the rotisserie spits gonna get ready to get the grill ready and put it out there and just wanted to let you know a little later in the cook I'll be throwing some of this on and you don't want to miss that when I start putting this on it's gonna really enhance that flavor so let's go get the grill ready okay so it's a nice and pleasant morning out here at the grill today and I've basically got the iGrill 3 meat probe just here in case I run out of propane. I'm not really relying on that for temperature the way it's positioned. Uh, I've got the uh, pan here for dripping and I'm just going to go ahead and get the grill started up. So we'll start with the far left one. That one came on. And the middle one. And the far right one. going to get the grill warmed up to 500 then bring it down to 350 and going to be doing a grilling temperature of 350 degrees for this cook. I'll probably check the temp on the pork loin probably every 90 minutes but let me give you a weather report before I bring the pork loin out. Uh, today the weather right now is 47 degrees with a real feel of 50 degrees, humidity 78 percent, zero wind which is really good but it's going to get up to about 69 degrees later in the day so uh, probably during the course of this cook it might might just tap on the door of near 60 but uh, it's going to keep warming up basically so I'm going to go grab the pork loin now and then I will uh, let you see that going on okay so uh, the grill reached 500 pretty quickly so I'm going to be using indirect heat so taking that middle burner off and try and get things down closer to 350 and once I do you'll be seeing me bring the pork loin out all right we're going in with the pork loin
going to adjust it a little because I want it to be a little better centered. All right, I think I got it good and centered now, so let's see if it starts running. All right, looks like we're doing good. So, going to let that continue to spin. I'll probably check that. Like, ooh, what was that? I'll give it another second, go around here, see what happens. Oh, it looks like my my iGrow 3 meat probe popped out of place. I'll just take that off of there. I'll just have to use the uh, the regular hood probe. Keep an eye on the uh, temp. But uh, basically, I'll let that go. Check the temp for maybe about 90 minutes or so. Looks like it's spinning okay. And uh, we'll see how things look in about another 90 minutes. Okay, so we're about 90 minutes in. I'm going to check the temperature. It's been kind of a play back and forth with the two end dials because temp has been fluctuating between 300, 350, and I've just been trying to turn it up when it goes down and turn it down when it goes up just a little above 350, turn it down some. So it's been back and forth, but let's see how it's doing after 90 minutes. It's looking very good. If I stop it, let's get the iGrow 3 meat probe in here. Just going to close it up and uh, see what the temperature is. And it looks like it's at 99, 100, 103. Still moving up, up to 105. When it gets uh, closer to that 140 so range, I'm going to put the uh, put some marinade on it. But uh, let's see, 107. Yeah, so it's got a little ways to go. I'm going to let it go for about another hour. Come back in maybe an hour. Hmm. Yeah, maybe an hour and uh, see how things are looking. All right, so it's been about an hour since our last test. So I'm going to go ahead and open up here and do another test of temp. It may already be done now, even possibly, but we'll see what we have. Get that meat probe in there nice and deep. Close it up. Let's see what the temp is. It's going up, up, up. Rising fast. Over 123. 132, 135. It's moving. It's moving fast. Let's see if it's going to stop and keep going to 155. All right, it's at 145. This is exactly where I want it. Oh no, it's a little above 146. I was hoping to get no more than 145 when I based it, but 147 will take it. So I'm going to go ahead and just start uh, basting. It's, it's even at 148, but I'm going to stop it now. Well, not stop it now. I'm going to start basting now is what I should say. So I'm going to start basting and uh, <clears throat> let it cook till it's a little 155 well I would have stopped at 155 if it wasn't uh, so far over 140 now but I need to like let this base go for some time so maybe give it 20 to 30 minutes I don't know or less than that but give it a little time I'm using the KC Masterpiece here, Caribbean Jerk marinade to baste it. I'm just going to get my rotisserie spinning and pour some on and brush it in as it goes around. Hope this gives it a nice kick on the flavor. things that Weber needs to put on the Genesis 3 if they do plan on making a Genesis 3 needs to have temperature control needs to have a rotisserie that could somehow determine meat temperature maybe have some probes that could
stick in and spin around with the rotisserie stuff. Also, um, iGrill 3 needs to be on Wi-Fi. And they need a rotisserie that you can have go slower when you're basting. <laughs> but that's just uh, my Weber wish list. <laughs> Alright, I think I've got this uh, good smothered and covered on all sides. I'm going to go ahead and close it up. Let's give that about uh, another 20 minutes to cook in. And so I'll bring you back in about 20 minutes and we'll see how it looks. Alright, about 15 to 20 minutes have passed, so I'm going to open up and stop things. That looks beautiful. Man, that looks good. That looks real good. Alright, I'm going to stop that. Stick the meat probe in here. Just going to close it up and have a look at the temp. And it's climbing, climbing. Uh, 131 and climbing. It's 145, still going, still going. 148. Alright, we're moving on beyond where we were earlier. 150. We're almost at that 155, 151. Wow, we not hit 155 yet. Let me try another spot. Oh no. Hmm, it's taken a minute or two longer than I expected. It's at 152. It's almost there though. I mean it's safe to eat now. I guess I don't want to go over and make it undercooked. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. You know, stop while I'm ahead. So I'll stop now. Just below 155, 152. But with pork, you know, with pork I don't want it to dry out. Now that's the concern. I mean if it was like a steak or something, you know maybe I'd cook it a little longer but with pork I mean it's like pork really gets really gets nasty dried out you know so I'm gonna get it turn my eye grill off and my glaze looks pretty right now so. aesthetically speaking it's a good time to stop all right, so there's our rotisserie pork loin. Took about uh, maybe three hours total. This was an hour and a half, then checked it, another hour. So about three hours total. So uh, <clears throat> just gonna get these strings off. The good folks at Costco already had the strings on there for me when I bought it. So always makes it very easy to manage. I'm going to uh, cut through the center or near the center here just to have a look deep inside alright so there's a look inside there Looks well done in there to me. I think we're good. So, just get a slice off of here. It's nice and tender. Set it over here. Get a little slice off of there. It smells good and it is so moist. Wow. Alright, let's move right away into the taste test. Alright, so the rotisserie pork loin it was marinated. Well, it was based in marinade. It was uh, brined. It was rotisserie for a few hours. So it's had a lot of work on it. Well, let's see how the results are.
pork loin is very good. It's very good, it's tender, it's juicy. So I think this was a success. And so uh, I wanted to say Barbecue Pit Boys YouTube channel is about to hit 1 million subscribers. First Grillmaster channel that I know of to make that milestone of 1 million subs. So congratulations to them. Also, this video, Lord willing, will be going out on Easter. And I want to say Happy Easter to everyone. Christ the Lord is risen. So it's a good reason to be happy. And I also want to say if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and good eating.